can do this, you know. You don't have to stay out here and help me. Better I should be here than out there trying to think of something to say. Something to say? I was talking to Jack for a while and I didn't have any trouble finding anything to say. What did you talk about? Oh, I don't know. Mostly baseball, I guess. I guess. That's the only thing he talks about. Hey, hurry up, will you? What are you doing, anyway? How come you left Jack in there by himself? What do you mean, by himself? Bob and Connie are out there. So are Mitch and Jerry. And so are you, till just now. Don't be stupid. The guy didn't come here tonight so he could see me. Or the others, for that matter. You're the one who got me to talk him into coming here tonight. What's the matter with you, anyway? Nothing's the matter with me. How was I supposed to know the guy was a deadhead? Cool it, will you? Do you want him to hear you? Uh, Frank, will you open those spring them in? Sure. Oh, I'll help you carry them in. Well, I'm going to talk to Jack, even if it is about baseball. Have some? Thank you. Looking for anything in particular? No, I don't even know much about music, you know. Well, some people think a lot of that stuff shouldn't even be called music. But I like it. I'm going to get rid of this and I'll be back in a minute. Hey, Jack, have a wonderful drink. Thank you. Oh, it's a hard mess. What are you going to put on now? Come on, put on something that moves. For Pete's sake, everybody's falling asleep. You want to bet? You two, for all the good you do anybody, you might as well be asleep. Oh, come off it, Susie. This beats leaving any time. Don't listen to her, Mitch. She's just jealous. Jealous? You've got to be kidding. Hey, are we supposed to dance to that? Come on, let's dance. Uh, I don't really know how. It's easy. Come on, I'll show you. Just follow me. Hey, will you look who's dancing? Oh, that's okay, isn't it? You didn't want to dance with him anyway, did you? I'd much rather dance with you. It's really easy. Jerry? Mm -hmm. What did you mean when you said that to Susan? Said what? Well, you know, about being jealous. Well, listen, do you want to dance or talk? I want to know what you meant when you told Susan she was just jealous. Well, then you want to talk. Come on, let's sit down. First of all, you should know I didn't mean that Susie goes for me, if that's what's bugging you. But why else would she be jealous? Well, maybe that's the wrong word for it. What I meant was that she was wishing she could be doing what we were doing, only with somebody else. But lots of guys we know think Susie's terrific. Like who? Well, Frank doesn't go with anybody, and he likes Susan. How come she went to all that trouble to bring Jack here? She winds up dancing with Frank anyhow. Well, that's part of what I've been trying to tell you. She's been bugging Frank and me for two weeks to get Jack here tonight. We both tried to tell her that she wouldn't dig him. He's a good guy, but you know Susie. There's no way she'd have any time for a guy as quiet as Jack. He's doing all right with Pat. Well, at least he's doing all right with somebody. She couldn't care less that it was Frank and I that brought him here tonight. Maybe he'll be glad he came because of Pat. Yeah, I hope so. But in the meantime, you watch Susie. The minute word gets through to her that Jack's having fun with Pat, look out. Okay, now let's get some real dance-type music here. Here, how about this one? Oh, come on, that's not what I mean. Here, how about that one? That's better. Come on, Jack, let's go. Oh, I really can't dance that fast, though. Really? Sure you can. Come on, it's really easy. Oh, come on, Susie, they're playing her song. Okay, but first, everybody dance. Jerry, Midge, come on, on your feet. Connie, Bob. Hey, where are Connie and Bob? Hey, Susie, come on. Did you hear something? Mm hmm? I think Susie's yelling at us. Oh, Susie's always yelling. Who listens? Come on, you two. Break it up. Oh, who keeps letting her out of her cage? Funny. Why don't you come in and join the party? You're wasting your talent out here. That's what you think. Watch yourself, Connie. <laughs> he thinks he's the world's greatest lover. Why don't you just get lost? Oh, ho. Listen to the big man. Hey, come on. Come on. 
you want to be alone. I'm warning you, Connie. Watch it. Do you have to make a career out of bugging people? I only bug some people. Well, poor old Bob sure must be one of them. Poor old Bob. Boy, you guys sure stick together, don't you? What do you mean, stick together? What you were doing in there wasn't bugging Bob. What the heck was it? You should know Bob like I know Bob. What makes you think you know him so well? I went out with him, remember? Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. That guy's a maniac. Aw, oh, come on, Susie. Just because a guy wants to kiss a girl doesn't mean he's some kind of a sex fiend. You don't even know what you're talking about. Maybe I know more than you think. And what's that supposed to mean? Now, come on, Susie. Simmer down. Let's go outside for a minute. Come on. You were right about Susie. Look at her. Yeah, I saw her. It's better we should stay out of it, though. How would you like it if somebody was going around talking about you? Why don't you just forget the whole thing? It isn't that important. Come on, let's go dance. No. I want to hear what the big mouth has been saying about me. All he said was you'd still be going with him if he hadn't told you to get lost. He told me to get lost? Are you serious? Well, maybe that's not exactly the way he said it, but that's what he meant. And you believed every word of it, naturally. I don't know. Like I said, it isn't that important. What's the big deal? You don't think I'm going to believe that's all he told you. For Pete's sake, Susan, forget it. Who cares anyway? I care. What do you think it makes me? Nothing. I mean, oh, how did we get into all this in the first place? You started to tell me Bob's opinion of me. That's how. Well, I shouldn't have said anything about the things that he said to me. Susan, what's the matter? Yeah, what's going on here anyways? I thought we were supposed to be having a party. Don't look so innocent. You've probably heard the same story Frank heard. What's she talking about? Don't ask me. I've opened my mouth once too often already. Come on, Susan, let's go back to the party. No, thanks. If your good friend in there has been telling you stories about me, figures he's been telling Jerry, too. Probably Frank, for that matter. If you're going to believe what some big mouth said instead of listening to the truth, forget it. I'm going home. Susan! Susan!